season of this 2024 2025 BGSU women's basketball season as the Falcons remain on the road here, taking on the Cleveland State Vikings here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Good evening, everyone, and welcome inside the broadcast. I'm Ms. Carmen. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Tuesday evening. Well, the Falcons lead Cleveland State in the all time series 11 of 5, and BGSU won the last two meetings. If you remember last season, the Falcons played Cleveland State to open up the year, and they won 89-86 to in a wild game at the service when I was back in early November. Paige Kohler had 20 points in that game. Erica Porter as well had 20 points off the bench for the Orange and Brown. Those are two key performances for Bowling Green that got the first win in the Fred Shamil era and also the first win of the season last year. This tonight marks Bowling Green's first trip in the Wall Street Center since December of 2002. The teams that played a regular season contest in downtown Cleveland at then what was called the Quicken Loans Arena, now called Rockets Morgan's Fieldhouse. The Falcons are 8-2 at home, 2 in the show center, and 3-3 on the road against Cleveland State through the years. All right, now let's talk about the opponent tonight, the Cleveland State Vikings head coach Chris Kausmeyer. Welcome back a total of nine letter winners from last year's team that went 29-6 overall and 18-2 in the Horizon League. And just before warm-ups happened here, we saw the unreveal of the new banner of the 2023-2024 Horizon League regular season championship that belonged to the Cleveland State Vikings. Last season, Cleveland State was also 17-0 last year, going 19-4 on the road and 3-2 at neutral sites. They played in WBIT and postseason action for Cleveland State. A very successful team in the Horizons League last season, but also got picked to finish first once again this year. They were picked to finish first in the 2024-2025 coaches' preseason poll. Kobe Maples, we'll talk about her a little bit more as we get started with the broadcast, was picked to be the preseason player of the year alongside Michaela Purdue and Destiny Leo. Join her on the preseason All-Horizon League team. Two years ago, Leah was named the Horizon League Player of the Year back in 2022-2023 season before missing most of last season due to an injury. Maples earned Horizon League Player of the Year honors in 2023-2024, and Purdue was named Horizon League Newcomer of the Year. A lot of accolades for this Vikings team, a lot of honors being made, and a lot of winning has been done for head coach Kalsmeyer over the past two seasons. So this is going to be one heck of a test for Bowling Green, who are coming off a loss to Detroit Mercy, a fellow Horizon League opponent in Detroit. We have national anthems coming up here, so we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll get you through the starting five for both Bowling Green and Cleveland State, along with our Falcon 4 players to watch. You're listening to Bowling Green Women's Basketball on WBG 80.1 FM, where the Falcons are taking on the Vikings. Welcome back to The Dog Show. Up next, we have Satchmo. Satchmo is a member of the Shelter Pet Group. That's right, a group known especially for their couch snuggling, ball chasing, face licking, and of course, companionship. Now, let's see him in action. Look how he makes eye contact with his person. That's actually known as the treat stare. How intuitive, and now he appears to be excitedly turning in circles. Ah, the happy dance will come in with this group. But really, the best way to know an amazing shelter pet like Satchmo is to meet one. Visit the shelterpetproject.org today. Adopt. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States, and the Ad Council. BG Hockey's Brody Waters is the Falcon Media Sports Network's Athlete of the Week. In the second game of the CCHA regular season opening series against Fair State, the sophomore forward had his first career hat trick. All three goals came on power plays, one in the first period and two in the second period, a huge part of the 5-4 victory over the Bulldogs. With the Hattie, Waters doubled his season goal total, snapping a four-game scoreless streak and leading the team in goals by four. He also leads the CCHA in goals, is third in total points, and second in shots taken. Nationally, he's tied for second in the most goals scored, second in power play goals, and tied for the third in average goals per game. This has been the Falcon Media Sports Network Athlete of the Week. This is Ben Korak, and you are listening to 88.1 FM WBGU Bowling Green, home of the Falcon Media Sports Network. 
The possibility of lung cancer can be pretty scary, especially if you're one of approximately 8 million current or former smokers at high risk. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know that now there's a breakthrough low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early, and it only takes 60 seconds. You stop smoking. Now start screening. For an easy quiz to see if you're eligible, visit SaveByTheScan.org. It could save your life. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. Song again! Yay! Here's that song again! For the hundredth time today, here's that song again! It's gonna be stuck in your head all day! Yay! Here's that song again! It will make you cray cray! You love your kids enough to watch that TV show a bajillion times. Yay! Love them enough to make sure they're in the right car seat for their age and size. Show them you love them. Keep them safe. Visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Psst, Steven. Who said that? Me, down here. Ugh, what are you, a yellow booger? I'm a banana slug, Steven. What are you doing in my room? I'm your sense of adventure. It's been a long time since we've had an adventure in the forest. Mom took me to the forest last year. I'm a slug, Steven. It took me a long time to get here. You're right. I should get out. Yeah, the forest is not that far away. Hey, Mom! Come to the forest where the more adventurous you lives. Check out discovertheforest.org for cool places nearby. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. They are our love bugs and companions. They are our pets, our family, and they make life better. When we face unexpected challenges, so do our pets. That's why we're on a mission to support people and their pets. Whether donating a bag of kibble, sharing an Instagram post of a lost cat, or welcoming a foster pet into your home, every bit of kindness counts. Visit petsandpeopletogether.org to learn how to be a helper in your community. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States, and the Ad Council. Not too cool for me. And in return, I reciprocate that sentiment. I'll never be too cool for you. I was a man with a plan, but now I'm a dad with a decree, and you can't take that from me. Please let it be noted that I told my job they can dock my pay. Right now is just too important to take you to school every day. I want to be legendary for you. I want you to puff out your chest when you go to school the same way I do. I walk taller because of you, because I found everything to live for. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ed Council. Back here at Wallstein Center in Cleveland, Ohio, on the campus of uh, Cleveland State University. The Bowling Green Falcons taking on Cleveland State for the third game of the year in the 2024-2025 women's basketball season. Welcome back inside the broadcast. I'm Lucas Klein. Our big thank you to Nate Henders, who's in the board op studio and, and Cooling Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University for pushing on the buttons and making sure this broadcast flows smoothly. We're getting starting fives out for both teams. We'll start for the home side, Bowling Green. Same starting five. That was the first two games of the year for head coach Fred Chanel and Velasco. Paige Kohler, Taya Ellis, John A. Donahue, and Erica Porter runs up the starting five for Bowling Green. Porter and Ellis in that forward position. Then you have Velasco and Kohler as both kind of forward generators in those point guard positions. And John A. Donahue as a guard as well, but also running your specialty defensive players for the freshman. For the defending Horizon League regular season champions, the Cleveland State Vikings, they also pull out the same starting five as they did last game as well. Michaela Perdue, Sarah Guerrero, Destiny Leo, Kobe Maples, and Jordana Riesma as the starting five for head coach Chris Kalsmer and Cleveland State. Let's talk about our Falcon Four key players of the game. We'll stick with Cleveland State. You can't talk about Cleveland State without talking about guard Michaela Perdue. Averaging 30 points so far this season, and while it is a short sample size, only two games played, she has scored 60 points combined with both her games coming off a 30-piece and their 111 to 67 win over Chicago State. Someone as well who's shooting very well from the floor, Perdue shooting 51% from the field. She's been efficient to start the year, is also playing an average 33 minutes per game. Second player for Cleveland State to watch out for is Sarah Guerrero. Guerrero, someone as well, an incredible rebounder. 20 rebounds so far in just two games played. 16 of those are defensive rebounds. It's an average of 10 per game. She's also averaging 14 points per game as well. So, kind of a partner in crime with Purdue, but Guerrero's been quite the surprise addition for Cleveland State this year. She's been excellent so far in their first two games. Those are two players Head coach Fred Shamil and the Falcons will need to watch out for as well. And for Shamil and for Bowling Green, the key players to watch for tonight are 
our back-to-back -back BG Falcon Media Food and Drink Guide player of the games. Last game, Amy Velasco, one of the guards from Centerville, Ohio. 15.5 points, 2 point assists, 2 point rebounds, I should say, 4.5 assists per game. She's one of the main floor generals for the Bowling Green team. One of the most experienced players on the floor and one of the most longtime veteran players for head coach Fred Schmiel. On the other side, guard Paige Kohler, sophomore guard of Olmstead Falls, Ohio. She had an incredible first game against Southern Mississippi. Quite incredible with 13 points, hit three big three-pointers in that one. She'll need to have a big game as well for head coach Fred Schmiel and the Falcons. We're ready to get underway here with tip-off. Bowling Green in their orange going right to left. On your radio dial, Cleveland State and their home white going from left to right. And their home opener, we are underway as Erica Porter wins the tip-off. Goes right to Paige Kohler. As it was quick whistle blown, just in this one, Ellis will inbound this one. So we'll do it again. And now we're officially on the way at the tip off. Edgar Porter did win that one and draw the foul. Velasco, Ellis, Cole in the right corner. Cole bounce pass down to Erica Porter. Porter working inside the paint. Erica Porter, tough shot there. Can't get the first one, gets her own rebound though. That was guard there from Rizma there. Porter and Guerrero on the floor battling. Jump ball's not the call, it's actually gonna be a, a foul called. It's gonna be a foul called on Guerrero. So a quick foul already for Cleveland State in this game. So give credit to Eric Kapoor there fighting for that rebound on the floor as Velasco inbound this one. And right before Velasco inbound, we'll have a little wipage of a slick spot right underneath the rim. So 9.40 left to go here in the first quarter. Still 0-0, Bowling Green, Cleveland State. A couple of early stoppages. Velasco inbound this one nonetheless. 20 seconds on the shot clock. We'll see if they can get the, this game's first points. Velasco inbounds to Donahue. Donahue out to Kohler on the left side. Kohler all the way out to right to Donahue. Velasco top of the key. Back to left wing. Kohler, he'll try a three-pointer. Page Kohler drains it. And Bowling Green's on the board first. First shot, first make for Bowling Green as Page Kohler triple. Makes it 3-0 Orange and or Brown with 9.20 left to go in the first. Here's Cleveland State's first offensive possession. Driving down low is Maples. Maples getting that shot to fall. Rebounding from Porter. First possession comes out empty for Cleveland State. Velasco comes back the other way. Out to the right wing, Velasco. Out to Kohler. Kohler top of the key to Ellis. Ellis, Gardner drives inside. Finishes with the left there off the glass. Porter tries to hold in the rebound. Slapped off by Verica Porter and be out for Cleveland State ball. Maples last year, rising league player of the year. Couldn't get that first shot to fall. She works on this one out to Guerrero. Guerrero working on Ellis to the left side. Tough shot there, a lot of contact. Can't get that one to fall, and a thousand to be called on Taya Ellis. So it'll be Bowling Green's first personal foul. It'll be Ellis's first personal foul of this contest. But a physical start to this one, 9 2. The 8 48. Scoreboard just reset. 848 left to play here in the first quarter. Through nothing, Bowling Green. First trip to the free throw line coming up for Cleveland State. It's Guerrero knocks down the first one. Guerrero from the free throw line. This game a 50% shooter, 8 for 16. 2 for 2 there. That puts her over 50% for the season. He's got Cleveland State's first two points of this game. 3-2 Bowling Green. 8.40 left to play here in the first quarter. Ellis, bounce pass inside Porter, working on Guerrero. Erica Porter with the right hook, couldn't get that one to finish. Rebounded from Ellis over three Cleveland State players. Donahue out to the left, Donahue dribbles inside. Donahue, a nice little step over Donahue. Can't get that shot to fall either. Another offensive rebound from Ellis. Out to Velasco, top of the key. Now Kohler, another deep three. Paige Kohler making two for two early on in this one. Paige Kohler connects from beyond the arc once again. 6-2 Bowling Green, 8-10 left to play in the first. Paige Kohler knocking that one down from downtown. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Maples. A little too much contact there. Team defense from Bowling Green, Erica Porter and Paige Kohler. 
switching off there. And an empty possession once again for, Bo for Cleveland State. A turnover will go down for Maples. Eight minutes up to play here in the first. 6-2 Bowling Green. Kohler now from the mid-range page. Kohler trying to feed the hot hand. That shot won't fall. Ellis fights for the rebound. Rebound held from Guerrero, but she stepped out of bounds. And Bowling Green will take over once again. So sloppy basketball here early on from the Vikings. Velasco inbounds to Porter and underneath the paint. Velasco and find Porter. Can't get that one to fall inside the paint with the left. Bowling Green comes up empty. From the right corner, a deep three here. That one's not going to fall. Maples there with a deep three in the corner. Rebound from Kohler. As Kohler's got a head seam going the other way. Kohler down low to Ellis. Ellis out wide top of the key to Erica Porter. Now down heels. A lot of players outside the perimeter for Bowling Green. Kohler Velasco inside. Now makes the run inside. Now Ellis down to the baseline. That shot can't fall. Bowling Green struggling to shoot from underneath the basket here early on the start. This one. Cleveland State comes up this one. No look pass. From Leo to find Guerrero, and Guerrero finishes the first shot from the floor. Will fall from Cleveland State. 7 of 5 left to play in the first quarter, 6 4 Bowling Green. Velasco. Ellis inside of Porter. Porter works inside, heavy contact there on the shoulder. Reese Men will take the charge. And a foul will be called on Eric Porter. So Erica Porter will pick up her first personal foul. 6-4, Cleveland State, 6-55 left to play here in the first. Bowling Green shooting two from nine from the floor to start this one. Two three-pointers from Kohler are the difference. The Cleveland State just one of three. Bowling Green have tripled the attempts from the floor. Travel violation from the newly Viking who just checked into this one. Maya Moore, who just checked into the game, will be called for the travel there. So another turnover from Cleveland State. Velasco. Velasco dribbles to the left wing, now into the left corner, Kohler. Kohler out to the top of the key, Velasco. Velasco now a wide right to Donahue. Donahue back to Velasco. Velasco all the way to the left to Kohler. Kohler guarded by Guerrero. Now Kohler driving the side. Tough shot with the right hook. Can't hold the fall. Rebound from Donahue. Tough shot there, and Donahue gets that one to fall through the contact. 8-4 Bowling Green as Donahue got her first points of the night. Maples comes back the other way for Cleveland State. Finds this one to Guerrero. Guerrero to Leo. Leo in the corner. Moore. And this one off to Guerrero. Guerrero mid-range shot. Guerrero! And a mid-range shot there. Gets that one to fall. 8-6 in favor of Bowling Green. Under six minutes left to play here in the first quarter. Kohler bounce pass to Velasco, all the way out left to Donahue. Donahue inside Ellis. Ellis now finds Porter inside the paint. Porter works inside the paint. He was moved with her left foot. A nice spin move and a finish with her left off the back board and in. So Erica Porter, another bucket. 10-6 Bowling Green, 5-25 left to play here in the first. Cleveland State comes back the other way, fast. That shot there can't fall from Leo. Rebounded from Donahue and the Falcons. Donahue. Comes back the other way. Donahue finds out why left the Kohler. Kohler step back, finds Velasco. Velasco will try for three. Amy Velasco gets that one to fall off the assist from Paige Kohler. That's Amy Velasco's first points of the day. It's now 13 6 Bowling Green midway through the first. Here's Leo. Guerrero inside Moore defending on Porter. Porter good defending there. Moore. Double dribble. From Maya Moore, that's another unforced turnover from Moore, who's just checking in this game off the bench. And with another five minutes left to play, we have reached our first timeout of uh, this one. This timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company, 145 South Main Street in downtown Bowling Green, featuring coffee, craft beer, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can see the latest menu at JuniperBrew.com. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. Bowling Green out to a fast start here in Cleveland. 13 to 6 in favor of the Orange and Brown. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to BGC Women's Basketball on WBG. Some people won't give you the real talk on drugs, but it's time we know the facts. Fentanyl is often laced into illicit drugs and used to make fake versions of prescription pills. 
You can't see it, taste it, or smell it. Suppliers mix fentanyl into their products because it's potent and cheap, and the dealer might not even know. Keep yourself and others safe by knowing the real deal on fentanyl. Get the facts. Go to realdealonfentanyl.com. This message is brought to you by the Ad Council. Papa, why can't we telegraph while riding a horse? Son, there ain't no one to blame but Jeffro. He was riding old Betsy the Stallion, tip-tapping away at his telegraph, when blam, ran right into the side of the saloon. Well, if Jeffro can't do it, neither should you. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Back here at the Wolstein Center on the campus of Cleveland State University, the Bowling Green Falcons 13, the Cleveland State Vikings 6, as the Falcons are off to a fast start here on the defending regular season Horizon League champions. Welcome back inside the broadcast. I'm Luke Kleinmeier. So, so far, Bowling Green maybe shooting 5 for 13 from the floor, but that's more than double what Cleveland State has put on the floor. 2 for 5 from the floor for the Vikings. Kohler leads the way for the Orange and Brown with six points, two three, big three-pointers hit, having the difference in this one. Amy Velasco hit a three as well. Mentioned one of the keys to this game for the Orange and Brown in order to come away with a big road victory against a good Cleveland State team is efficient shooting. Efficient shooting from beyond the arc, especially from three-point range. It's been a struggle. Entering this game, Bowling Green only hit seven three-pointers before this one. They've already hit three tonight, especially from the likes of Paige Core, who you're probably looking for to be your three-point go, three-pointer go-to after the departure of Morgan Sharps last season. And also limited turnovers. Right now, Bowling Green just one turnover in this game as we are at 4.55 up the play here in the first quarter. Meanwhile, for Cleveland State, they have four turnovers so far in the first. So winning the turnover battle will be crucial as well. So back off of this media timeout. Same five on the floor as Bowling Green started, except one, as Lauren Gherkin will check into this game for Erica Porter. So you have Gherkin, Ellis, Velasco, Kohler, and Donahue on the floor for Bowling Green. And for the Vikings, you have Moore, Leo, Guerrero, Maples, and Purdue, the five on the floor for the Cleveland State. Let the shot clock for Bowling Green as they come out of this one. Gherkin. To Velasco. Velasco drives inside the left. Amy Velasco can't have one to fall. Rebounded from Taya Ellis again. That's a tough shot that can't fall again. That'll be the last touch off of Falcon with Cleveland State ball. Another good look for Bowling Green, but haven't been winning that battle inside the paint thus far this game. A lot of tough shots from Ellis and Eric Porter. Just haven't been on the fall. Good defensive play from Guerrero, Leo, and the entire crew for Cleveland State. Paulina Hernandez checks in for the first time tonight for. Cleveland State as an empty possession once again as Maples keep that one to fall for the Vikings. Donahue picks this one up the other way. Donahue. Core top of the key. We're down to four minutes left here in the first quarter. Inside to Gherkin. Gherkin trying to find Ellis there. That pass is going to find Ellis off the deflection there from Leo and her shot there is rejected from Hernandez. And a deep three from Paige Kohler and Kohler gets that one to fall. How about Paige Kohler? Three for three from three to start this first quarter. That's Another huge bucket from the North Olmstead Falls native. She's got to nine points, 16 to six. Bowling Green's lead up to double digits. And a turnover from Cleveland State as Amy Velasco comes back the other way. Velasco off the turnover. Gets that one to fall on the fast break. 18 to six, Bowling Green with 325 left in the first quarter. What a start it's been for the Orange and Brown. Here's Guerrero trying to stop the momentum that Bowling Green currently has. Purdue. Only one shot taken for Purdue so far. Hasn't made it yet. And that's rejected from Lauren Gherkin as Purdue is crashing to the boards. And a rejected there from the freshman, Lauren Gherkin. 14 points in her collegiate debut against Southern Mississippi. Just so impressive in that one. And rejecting there, Purdue, and denying her her first points on this one. Ten on the shot clock for Cleveland State. The inbound this one. Out to Hernandez. Hernandez working on Gherkin. Inside Kohler guarding Leo. Leo there working inside Kohler. Good defensive there, knocking away from Leo. And another great defensive play for Bowling Green. Donahue. Donahue works across. Purdue there, a little too handsy there on the freshman for Fort Wayne, Indiana. Donahue will draw the foul, and that's going to be Purdue's first personal. 
So two subs coming in for Cleveland State. Checking back in is Riesma. And checking in for the first time tonight is Grace Ellis. Checking out is Hernandez. Alongside Maples. As Bowling Green comes back to the other way, looking to extend on their 12 point lead. Velasco right wing. Ellis down to the byline, out to Kohler. Kohler top of the key to Donahue. Donahue looks inside to Gherkin. Lauren Gherkin trying to feed this one to Ellis in the pose. Ellis gets it. A tough shot over two Cleveland State defenders. Put the shot up there, but last touched off a Viking. Cleveland State Bowling Green will take over with six on the shot clock. 2.40 left to go here in the first quarter. 18 to 6 Bowling Green. Six on the shot clock. Velasco inbound this one to Gherkin. Gherkin, top of the key, Kohler to Donahue. Back to Kohler. Kohler going to pick up a highly contested three. That one was tipped and no good. Her first miss from Young Arc as to this game as going up the court. Ellis there lost the ball initially, able to recover. Leah. Up to Ellis, working inside the paint. Guerrero, Guerrero there. So that was actually Rizma inside the paint over Gherkin. Rizma got that one to fall. That's her first points of the game. 18 to 8. Bowling Green leads still up to double digits. Velasco back the other way for Bowling Green. Here's Donahue. Donahue out wide right to Gherkin. Gherkin feeds Ellis inside. Ellis working on Rizma. Ellis works inside and she stepped out of bounds as Ellis still couldn't get that one to fall. So another basket that won't count for Ellis. Ellis is now 0 for 5 from the floor for Bowling Green to start this one. Bowling Green 7 for 20 as a team. But still have a 10 point lead. It's Donahue with a quick steal. Can't keep that one in play though as it just went out of bounds. Donahue intercepted the pass. Right into our courtside fans here at Wolstein Center. Jasmine Fern will check in for Bowling Green for the first time. She'll check in for Taya Ellis. So Cleveland State will remain possession despite the Donahue attempt to take the ball away. Out wide top of the arc here, a D3 coming away for Purdue. That one off the mark and rebounding from Velasco. Velasco fast pace finds Cole at the right side. Back to Amy Velasco. She'll take a three. Amy Velasco connects from downtown. That's her second three pointer made of this game. Amy Velasco makes it 21 8 Bowling Green. The Falcons shooting four from five for six for three points to start this one. That pass tipped out of bounds. And there, Cleveland State unforced turnover. And on the offensive end, Bowling Green will take over. It's a 21 to 8 lead for Bowling Green with a minute 15 left to play in the first. Beyond the arc shooting has been fantastic for the Falcons. Here's Kohler, top of the key. How wide right to Fern. Fern out to Velasco. Velasco back out to the key of Donahue. Donahue finds Kohler in the left corner. Back to Donahue. Fern hands it off to Velasco. Velasco drives inside the left. Velasco, tough shot. Amy Velasco drives to the rim and gets that shot to fall. Velasco now. Nearing double digits. 23 to 8. Bowling Green. 45 seconds left to play in the first. More. Guerrero. Here's Purdue. Working on Kohler. Purdue drives inside the left. Purdue, a tough shot there. Now Kayla Purdue gets that one to fall. Her first points of the game with 30 seconds left to play here in the quarter. 23 10 Bowling Green, a 13 point lead for the Orange and Brown. Kohler trying to find Velasco. That was off the foot of Purdue. 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Purdue and Bowling Green will have it. 24.7 seconds left on the clock here in this first quarter. Cole to Fern. Out to Velasco. Velasco bounce pass inside of Erica Porter who's checked back in for the Falcons. Erica Porter, that's easy money for EP as she gets that one to fall with her right hand. Shot clock is off, down to five seconds. 25-10, Bowling Green down to three. Leo with the ball, down the one. She's got to put up a shot here. Leo puts up the shot and is rejected by Erica Porter to put an exclamation point on a dominating first quarter from Bowling Green. The Falcons at the end of the first quarter, 25 to 10 in favor of the Orange and Brown. A 15-point lead for head coach Fred Chamille and his crew. 
We'll take a quick break and we'll bring back second quarter action. You're listening to BGSU Women's Basketball right here on WBGU 88.1 FM. Titans go! When the Teen Titans go to the movies, they know the best way to travel is safely. Hollywood, here we come! Budget! And you know it's super... To keep your child safe, be sure to use the right car seat for their age and size. Exactly. We're finally on the big screen. Have a seat, my dude. For more information on finding the right seat, visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Gotcha. That's a wise move. It's an Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. BG Hockey's Brody Waters is the Falcon Media Sports Network's Athlete of the Week. In the second game of the CCHA regular season opening series against Fair State, the sophomore forward had his first career hat trick. All three goals came on power plays, one in the first period and two in the second period, a huge part of the 5-4 victory over the Bulldogs. With the Hattie, Waters doubled his season goal total, snapping a four-game scoreless streak and leading the team in goals by four. He also leads the CCHA in goals, is third in total points, and second in shots taken. Nationally, he's tied for second in the most goals scored, second in power play goals, and tied for the third in average goals per game. This has been the Falcon Media Sports Network Athlete of the Week. Graduate Jason Jackson from the Miami Heat here. Make sure to tune into the Zig Zone every Sunday at 4 p.m. on WBGU 88.1 FM, home of the Falcon Media Sports Network. It was a first quarter of dominance for Bowling Green as the Falcons head into the second, 25 to 10. Bowling Green a 15-point lead. And this one, welcome back inside the broadcast. Everyone, I'm Lucas Kleinmeyer, Bowling Green Women's Basketball against the Cleveland State Vikings for this third game of the 2024-2025 Women's Basketball season. Still early, but it's been a good start for the Cleveland State Vikings. Had a big loss to Ohio State, who are nationally ranked, a team that Bowling Green will see in just a couple of weeks. Got a win over Chicago State, a big win in that one. This is Cleveland State's home opener as well where they unrevealed the 2023-2024 Horizon League regular season championship banner. But right now they find themselves in a 15 point hole. Three point shooting from Bowling Green has been excellent. Five from six from beyond the arc. Paige Kohler with nine points all from three point range. And Velasco already up to ten points from four from five from the floor. Second quarter underway. Cleveland State will begin with possession. And a whistle called on Guerrero. And a foul is going to be called. The Garajo's second personal. Only one change for Bowling Green heading out to the second quarter. Donahue will take a break. Christina Kulachkovska will come in for the first time for Bowling Green. As Kulachkovska finds Erica Porter down the post. And she finishes with a left. 27-10 Bowling Green. 17 point lead. Guerrero. Over to find Leo. Leo guarded by Kulach Kosa. Leo puts up a tight three. That one no good. Kulach Kosa got the rebound. Porter to Velasco. Velasco hands his one off the Kohler. Kohler top of key. Jasmine Fern. She'll try to look from downtown. That one can't fall. And rebounded from Purdue. And Cleveland State will come back the other way. Trying to start some momentum. Purdue. A mid range shot there. It hits nothing but net. And not in the good way. Everything outside the net, and that one will go out of bounds. So another empty possession coming up for the Vikings. So five on the floor right now for Bowling Green. Fern, Velasco, Kohler, Porter, and Kulachkovska. For the Vikings, you have Ellis, Leo, Guerrero, Risma, and Purdue. The five for the Vikings. Guerrero, six points. That leads the team with only ten points made so far this game. And Velasco... To the right. Here's Kohler. 
backcourt. Bounce pass out to Velasco. Velasco out top for Keith Fern. She'll try another three. Jasmine Fern. That one can't fall. And rebounded from Maples. Maples. Open three. A long three coming the way for Purdue. That one's off the mark. Try her luck from downtown. Gets the rebound though. And Purdue comes back the other way and swat away for America Porter. Reesman there. Right place, right time. And that rebound. Give it right back to Purdue. But Porter did well to swap that one away and avoid contact. Ellis will check back into this game for Jasmine Fern. Checking in as well as Sarah Hurley. Callie Howard for the Vikings as well for the first time tonight. Here's Purdue. Purdue's side gives this one off to Howard and Callie Howard just into this game. Gets that one to fall. Out to the baseline, got that one to fall through left hand, make it 27-12, Bowling Green. Velasco, all right to Ellis. Ellis, top of you, Kulaskovska. Kulaskovska drives to the right side, a tough shot there, gets that one to roll, roll top of the rim, can't that one to fall. Porter try for the rebound, can it hold that one in. It was last touch off of Eric Porter, it will be Cleveland State ball. Donahue, we'll check back into this one. Donnie will be in for Kulaskovska. Kohler comes in as well. Here's Maples down to the right. Poor Garden and a feed to Rizma. Is off the mark. Rebounded from Ellis and pulling comes back the other way. Kohler has hit three three pointers so far this game, trying to make it a fourth. Likes to give it to Donahue. Donahue goes top of the key. Three second violation for Bowling Green. There should be a foul called on Amy Velasco. So for Velasco, that'll be her first personal foul of the game. Still a 15 point lead for Bowling Green. 7.30 left to play here in this second quarter. 27 12 Bowling Green. Here's Maples back the other way for the, for the Vikings as Porter. Try to hold that one and play. Last touch off. Eric Porter. It will still remain Cleveland State ball with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Sarah Hurley will inbound this one for Cleveland State right after they wipe up the wet spot underneath the rim. Hurley. Cleveland State one for the last seven. Trying to make a difference there as another turnover as Maples takes that one away. And then Velasco trying to sprawl Kohler through there. But a whistle blown and as the officiating crew will talk it over. And it will remain Bowling Green ball as trying to say that one was your last touch off of Kohler. But regardless, the dismay of one of the benching staff is Cleveland State bench not too happy about that call. Oh, it's inbound this one to Velasco. Velasco looking, looking to build on their lead even more. Donahue out to the right wing, Kohler. Kohler feeds down along to Ellis. Ellis looking for her first points of the game. Ellis off top of the key, Donahue back to Kohler. Kohler's going to try a D3 page. Kohler off the front of the rim and no good. And rebounded from Maples. Maples with a head of seam coming back the other way. Maples drives inside. Kohler chasing her from behind. Maples, tough shot there. And a foul going to be called. I believe they're going to get Erica Porter for this one. We'll see who they name this one. And it will be Porter who would call for this foul. That will be her second personal foul of the game. As Moxie, Kendall Moxie for Bowling Green will check in for the first time tonight and she'll check in for Porter. Moxie, a junior, six foot three guard from Centerville, Maryland. First shot there from Maples is good. Only the Second time, Cleveland State has gone to the free throw line tonight. Maples there makes it two for two. 27-14, Bowling Green, a 13-point lead. 6.42 left to play in the second quarter. Here's Donahue, 
Finds core, core, bounce pass inside. Moxie working inside. Moxie there, tough shot. Can't on the fall. Trying to get her on rebound there. And she'll be called for the offensive fouls. Moxie, again, Bowling Green in the paint. Just struggling just a little bit. And Moxie will pick up her first personal foul. BG approaching near a three-minute scoreless drought, but still have a 13-point lead. Here's Maples back there away for Cleveland State. A D3 from Maples over Velasco with the first three-pointer of this contest for Cleveland State has been converted. Now make it one for five for them on the night. 27-17, Bowling Green. Lead cut down to 10. Here's Moxie to Donahue. Donahue, the freshman trying to give it back to Ellis. Gets it inside. Ellis got the foul, but again, can't get that shot to fall underneath the basket. Push a goat to the free throw line. Foul be called on Colby Maples. Her second, her second personal foul, Ellis now. So it remains 0 for 5 from the four. Zero points. Does have three rebounds. Trying to get her first points out of the game. And she does. Gets that one to fall. Lead back up to 11 points, 28 to 17, Bowling Green. Officials will blow the whistle, says there's jewelry from Taya Ellis. Ellis will try to make a two for two for the line after that short break. And Ellis does. So a perfect trip from the charity stripe. Now 29-17 Bowling Green. Up to, back to a 12-point lead. 6-07 left to play in the second quarter. Both teams one and one heading to this one. Both teams we're gonna go two and one. Here Maples inside. Working on that one was Rizma. Got that one, the fall and the foul. Jordan Arizma will go to the line to make a three-point play. A foul's gonna be on tails. And checking in for the first time, be Layla Harrison, the freshman from Cincinnati, Ohio. And this one. Checking in as well. Leo is back into this game for Maples for the Vikings. The Vikings are on a 9-2 run in this quarter. Been a good start to the second quarter for them. And Leo. Rizma, we're going to make that a three point play as Rizma now up to five points. Lee cut down the single digits for Bowling Green 29 20. Orange and Brown. Velasco drives inside of the left. A tough finish. And in Velasco gets that one to fall. 31 20. Bowling Green with 536 left to play here in the second. Now Vikings back the other way. Here's Rizma. And this one off to Leo. Leo drives by line, kicks it one all the way out to the right corner. It's a three pointer from Hurley. That one's off the mark. Rebounded there from Rizma. We'll draw the foul. We'll see who they get Bowling Green there. It's going to be on Lauren Gherkin. It'll be her first personal foul. Jordana Reisma, go from the charity stripe. Gets the first one to fall. Make it 32, 31, 21. Bowling Green down to 10, trying to cut it down to single digits. And she does, Reisma makes another perfect trip from the line. 31, 22. Bowling Green, we are now just about over halfway through here in the second quarter. Velasco, tough contact there. And a draw the foul. Oh, it was tough to find there from Michaela Purdue. But actually, they'll tag Gally Howard on that one. Similar to last game, Velasco leading the team in five the last eight major stat categories. The last go first attempt there from the line is good. Yeah. 
32-22 Bowling Green Velasco. Get, makes it a perfect trip there. 33-22 Bowling Green back up to 11. Here comes Leo. Back the other way for Cleveland State. Purdue looks. Finds Leo top of the key, guarded by Kohler. Leo now go to the right. Rio finds Howard in the middle, guarded by Harrison. Howard there out to the right corner. That's going to be a three taken from Leo. That one off the mark and rebounded there from Aiden Velasco. Velasco comes back the other way for Bowling Green on the fast break to the left corner. Kohler drives baseline. Kohler trips on her feet, finds Gherkin. Out to the left corner again, Velasco. Gherkin. Gherkin out to the right, Donahue. Donahue to Kohler, back to Donahue. Donahue to Gherkin. Gherkin will try it through Lauren Gherkin. That one off the mark. And rebounded there for Reisma. Reisma. And Purdue the other way. Now Purdue a deep three. That one is an air ball. And it goes out of play. So a fast back and forth second quarter. A couple of empty possessions coming up for both teams. But Cleveland State have been on the run this second quarter and have cut Bowling Green's lead down to just 11. We'll take a quick break. It's immediate timeout. This timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company, 145 South Main Street in downtown Bowling Green, featuring coffee, craft beer, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can see the latest menu at juniperbrew.com. 11-point lead for Bowling Green, 33-22. to We'll take a quick break for listening to BJC Women's Basketball on WBGU 80.1 FM. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. So do it all with confidence, kindness, and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. Inspire kids to do at 4H.org. My mother was always very active and independent, and she was familiar with her neighborhood. But one day, she stopped at the stop sign for much longer than usual. She wasn't even really sure where she was at. It's important for you to talk to someone about it. I felt so much better after my son told me, Mom, we'll figure it out. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash ourstories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Don't have time to tune into a BGSU sports broadcast? Falcon Media Sports Network will have you covered with live updates of home BGSU athletic events. To follow along, head over to at BG underscore FMSN on Twitter X. Back here at the Wolstein Center on the campus of Cleveland State University, the Falcons have an 11-point lead over the defending Horizon League regular season champions, Cleveland State. 33-22. to 22. Welcome back inside the broadcast. I'm Lucas Palmer. I thank you for so much for making us a part of your Tuesday evening. Cleveland State, though, have been on a run in this second quarter. You look at the summer, Bowling Green outshot them 25-10. to 10, Outscored them, I should say, 25-10 to 10 in the first quarter. Cleveland State 12-8. to 8, Been close, but the Vikings have had a lot of momentum swing their way. Bowling Green trying to go into halftime. Double digit lead. We have 422 left remaining here in this second quarter. We'll see how the head coach Fred Shamil and Bowling Green can close this one out. Five on the court for the Orange and Brown, Lauren Gherkin, Layla Harrison, Johnny Donahue, Paige Kohler, and Amy Velasco for the Vikings. We have Purdue, Reisma, Leo, Howard, and Hurley for Cleveland State. It'll be Bowling Green possession. Harrison will inbound this one to Velasco. Velasco will get this one back underway. Velasco. And by Purdue. Velasco top of the key out to the left. Kohler. Here's Kohler. Out wide right to Velasco. Velasco to Kohler. Kohler down low to Lauren Gherkin. A mid range shot there. Clicking that one to fall. Rebound from Howard, but taken away from Donahue. Finds Harrison. And a travel going to be called on Harrison. One too many steps from Bowling Green. Still 11 point lead for Bowling Green, 33 22. Under 40 minutes left to play here in the second. 
Here's Leo. Leo looking to find a Viking. Donnie, who stole it away, looking to dive for the loose ball. It'll be clean and safe possession. We'll see if they tag Donahue. His foul, and they will. They'll say Donahue tripped. They'll say they tripped Purdue. That's her first personal foul of the game. It's Bowling Green as a team, their eighth total. So Purdue's going to go to the charity stripe here. And she gets that first one to fall. One from eight from the floor to start this one for Purdue. She's on up to three points there with that free throw. Oh for three for three as well. A perfect trip there from the line, two for two. Lee cut down the nine for Bowling Green. 33-24 Bowling Green with 337 left to play. Here Velasco hands this one off to Donahue. Down out wide right to Kohler. She'll try a three. She was left wide open. Paige Kohler knocks out of one down again. That's her fourth three made of the contest. 36-24 Bowling Green lead back up to 12. The sophomore guard is up to now 12 points as the Cleveland State comes back the other way and gets that one to fall. Velasco, Harrison, Donahue, Velasco, she'll try a three for the left corner. Amy Velasco connects from beyond the arc again. It's raining threes for Bowling Green in this one. Six for 11. Megan now seven for 12 from three for Bowling Green. 39-26, Bowling Green lead up to 13. Raisin works inside the paint, working inside. Gherkin, she gets that one to fall off the left hook and gets that one to roll in. 17 points for Amy Velasco here in the first half. Gherkin, back up to Velasco. Can she make it 20? And she can't get on the fall from beyond the arc. Gherkin trying to get the rebound. Can't hold that one in. Purdue comes back the other way. Velasco back defensively. Purdue. And off the turnover on the fast break. Purdue gets one on the fall. 39-30. Back in fourth action here with 2-10 left to play here in the second quarter. A nine-point lead for Bowling Green. Maples in. Moxie looking to check back in for both teams. Velasco inside of Gherkin. Gherkin, a mid range two. Lauren Gherkin can go on the fall. Gets her own rebound, however. Down here out to the left for Kohler. Velasco will try it through. Amy Velasco make it 20 points just in the first half. Amy Velasco, oh my goodness, 42 30 Bowling Green. Up to a 12 point lead now for the Orange and Brown. Out to the left three. Rejected from Donahue. A deep three attempt. But Cleveland State goes begging. Now Donahue comes back the other way. Donahue takes the contact. Hirsha can't fall. Gherkin there trying to swat that one over Leo. She'll be called for the foul. What a back and forth second quarter here out of that media timeout in this one. 42 30 Bowling Green, 12 points. Amy Velasco, 20 points from 7 for 9 shooting. Feed the hot hand. 4 from 9 for 3. Four from six for Paige Kohler. She has 12 points as well. Eight for 14 as a team from beyond the arc for Bowling Green just in this first half. So a foul on Gherkin. That's her second personal foul. We'll have Leo go to the line for two shots. Cleveland State as a team now 10 for 10 from the line as the first one will fall for Leo. For second attempt, Leo, perfect there, making it 11-11 for as a team. The Vikings will come back the other way. Moxie will come in for Gherkin as well. We're down to a minute 20 left here in the second corner. 42-32, Bowling Green, a 10-point lead for the Orange and Brown. Kohler, Harris. Here's Donahue. Donahue out to Kohler. Kohler hands out to Velasco. Shotclock down to six. Velasco out to Donahue. Thought about a three. Shotclock down to four. Out to Velasco. She'll try another three. Amy Velasco. That one rolls in and out. Harrison can hold in the rebound. The Blackies come back the other way. Long switch. Hurley to Maples. Maples worked inside. Maples, a tough shot there. Trying to go underneath the legs. Took the contact and able to draw the foul. The foul is going to be called on the freshman, Layla Harrison. That'll be her first personal foul of the game. Eight different Bowling Green Falcons now tagged with a personal foul. 
Maple's first attempt from the line is no good and the first miss from the charity stripe this game for Cleveland State. Still 42-32, Bloomington 52.4 seconds left here in the first half. Rebounded from Harrison. Here comes Kohler back the other way for Bowling Green. Now hands off to Velasco. Fern looking to check back in. He's found seconds. Bowling Green looking to wind down the clock and get into the halftime here with a large lead. Velasco. Velasco. Harrison. Hands off Donahue. Kohler in a three. And from the right corner, that three is off the mark. And rebounded from Hurley and at Cleveland State. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds left here to play in the first half. Here's Maples guarded by Donahue, top of the key. Looks like they'll try to hold this one for the last shot of the game. Maples. Maples. Works inside Donahue. Maples works inside here, finishing with the left. Maples, that shot can't fall. Moxie trying to find the rebound. That shot from Howard can't fall. Bowling Green stands tall with the final defensive play of the first half. The Falcons with a huge performance in the first and second quarter. They have a 10 point lead over the defending regular season Horizon League champions, the Cleveland State Vikings, 42 to 32, heading into halftime. We'll take a quick break and recap the first half action. You're listening to BGSU Women's Basketball right here on WBG 80.1 FM. I'm Fouad Reves, a home builder. Did you know there's a deadly, invisible radioactive gas that can seep into homes from underground? It's radon. Breathing radon can cause lung cancer. So protect your family. Talk to your builder. Tell them you want a healthier, safer, radon-resistant home. Learn more. Visit the EPA at epa.gov slash radon. That's epa.gov slash radon. This public service announcement is brought to you by the EPA, who does not endorse this particular builder or any other commercial enterprise. A ranger station. I'd like to report a bear hug. Okay. I put out my campfire and Smokey Bear hugged me. So you drowned the fire, you stirred it, drowned it again, and felt that it was cold? Uh-huh. Yeah, but he's just letting you know you did good. Bear hug from Smokey Bear. Status update! I'm gonna let you go now. There are many ways to start a fire, but one sure way to put it out. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service Ad Council and your state forester. BGSC Women's Soccer concluded their season on Sunday after a loss in the MAC quarterfinal that sent the Falcons home before the MAC semifinal for the first time since 2016. First year head coach Chris Fox led the squad to a 7 7 and 4 record, losing six of their seven games on the road while going 4 4 and 3 in conference play. The Falcons ended their season with a loss on the road to Ohio in the MAC quarterfinal in Athens, marking the first road appearance in the MAC tournament for the team since 2004. Graduate student midfielder Lexi Zerwin led the team with 11 points on the year, followed closely by sophomore forward Emma Stransky, who ended the season with a career high in 10 points. This has been 60 Seconds in Falcon Athletics. When might you be buzzed? When you suddenly love everything. You guys, I love this song. I love these nachos. I love our kickball league. Oh, I love this guy. What's your name? You know what I'd love? A ride when it's time to head out. If you see a buzzed warning sign, call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. I love your car. Is this real leather? To protect her home and family in a disaster, Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and insurance paperwork. Yeah, I can do this. You go, Karen! By simply understanding and updating what her insurance covers and doesn't cover now, she'll be better prepared no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council.
BG Hockey's Brody Waters is the Falcon Media Sports Network's Athlete of the Week. In the second game of the CCHA regular season opening series against Fair State, the sophomore forward had his first career hat trick. All three goals came on power plays, one in the first period and two in the second period, a huge part of the 5-4 victory over the Bulldogs. With the Hattie, Waters doubled his season goal total, snapping a four-game scoreless streak and leading the team in goals by four. He also leads the CCHA in goals, is third in total points, and second in shots taken. Nationally, he's tied for second in the most goals scored, second in power play goals, and tied for the third in average goals per game. This has been the Falcon Media Sports Network Athlete of the Week. Tom has been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. I was really starting to worry. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives, but he was there beside me. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Looking for a BG Athletics discussion show? Check out The Swoop, where a rotating cast of Falcon Media Sports Network co-hosts talk everything BGSU Athletics. New episodes are available every Thursday at 6 p.m. on the BG Falcon Media YouTube channel. Halftime here at the Wolstein Center here on the campus of Cleveland State University. The Bowling Green Falcons are taking it to the defending regular season Horizon League champions, the Falcons, 42 the Cleveland State Vikings 32, a 10-point lead for Bowling Green heading in to the second half. Welcome back inside the broadcast. I'm Luis Kleinmeier. For the Falcons, they have been shooting well from the floor in the first half, 15 for 41, 36% from the floor. But the difference is they've almost doubled the amount of attempts and shots for Cleveland State, but also more so their three-point shooting has been fantastic at 50% for a team 8 from 16. Aiden Velasco leads the way with 20 points for the Orange and Brown, while for the Vikings, Reasonably leads away with 11 points. I want to kick it over to our studio in the Cooling Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University, where our board operator Nate Hinners, joined alongside Caden Knapp, are in the studio. They'll give us our thoughts of the first half, guys. Pretty good first half for Bowling Green in general, and all, none, all the less a really good first quarter. Obviously, Cleveland State came back more in that second quarter to cut into the lead. What did you guys make of the first 20 minutes of basketball? Yeah, hey Lucas. Uh... Yeah, definitely an exciting first half for them. Hayden actually has some stats. Yeah, I mean, Bowling Green's defense really stepped up and was able to lock down Cleveland State with the exception of that little three to four minute per period of time in the middle of the second quarter. And really, I mean, what kind of like sparked that little Cleveland State comeback was the Falcons went 0-4 from beyond the arc. But as you stated earlier, Lucas, they then picked up their threes. They finished the quarter three of six from beyond the arc and were able to, you know, regain that double-digit lead. As well, too, Caden, we mentioned Amy Velasco and Paige Kohler. Velasco and Kohler were two of our Falcon 4 players to watch in this game. 20 points for the Centerville native and 12 for Kohler. So pretty good so far for both of them. They've also played the entirety of the game thus far. Who's a third player for Bowling Green that you're looking for to have a big second half? I'm going to look at Erica Porter. She had two blocks in half number one, and she also went three of six from the floor. I would like to see her, you know, continue that defensive dominance. I mean, Lucas, she really got you excited a few times with those big block plays and whatnot. <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. For Cleveland State, I think, meanwhile, 10 for 20 from the floor, that's 35%. Only one for nine for three. They just had a, a very off shooting day as well. For the Vikings, in order to get back in this game, they're probably going to need to start finishing more offensively, but also find better looks. Bowling's de defense, like you mentioned, Katie, with Eric Reporter in the paint, but also Ellis, who might not be having a good shooting game. She's been great defensively as well for Bowling Green. One last question for you guys over there in the studio cooling center. If Bowling Green come away with this victory, you do have a double-digit lead 
in a game of basketball, obviously that's not a humongous lead. Teams can very well come back from that and come away with the win. How does Bowling Green come away with this win and see off this game? Do you want to start us off, Nate? Uh, let's go with you because <laughs> you're probably more knowledgeable on this. Well, I mean, the Falcons, they've averaged two turnovers per quarter in the last four quarters of play, so obviously continue that trend. But I want to see them kind of back off on the fouls because Cleveland State was able to get off 11 free throw attempts in that second quarter alone after just attempting two. Because once you get in foul trouble, I know I've said it multiple times before, and that's when you run into trouble and you have your players foul out. Like Paige Kohler, good job for her. She has not committed a foul thus far. You want to continue that. And with Porter and Ellis, you know, you're two big players. They each have two fouls, and they're huge on defense. So they got to be a little less physical, but at the same time, you know, bring enough aggressiveness to, you know, continue defending shots. Definitely Avail turnovers and definitely capitalizing on offensive chances as well will be huge for Bowling Green in the second half. If they want to come up with a victory, thanks, thanks guys in the studio for giving us. That will do it for us here. From a halftime report, we are just about five minutes away from second half action between the Bowling Green Falcons and the Cleveland State Vikings with the Orange and Brown have a 10-point lead over the defending regular season Horizon League champions 42-32. to You're listening to BGC Women's Basketball on, 80, on WBGU 88.1 FM. Don't go anywhere. Hey, I'm Tyler Cavlitz, and you are listening to 88.1 FM WBGU Bowling Green, home of the Falcon Media Sports Network. Hey everybody, Rachel Ray here. Nothing brings a bigger smile to my face than cooking up a big meal for the whole family and lots of friends. But there's not enough room at my table for the 17 million kids in our country who struggle with hunger. That's why the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks collects surplus food to give hope to hungry kids. But they can't do it without your help. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. A message from Feeding America and the Ad Council. On October 4th, 2024, BGSU Volleyball opposite hitter Lauren Hovey recorded her 115th career service ace in BG's comeback reverse sweep of Western Michigan, passing Paige Penrod for the most in program history during the rally scoring era. Falcon Media Sports Network's Chaz McNeil had the call of the historic moment on WBGU 88.1 FM. And that will make history. Lauren Hovey's 115th ace in the rally scoring era is in the history books as the Stroh Center applauds. This has been a Falcon Media Sports Network featured call. Matt always knew he wanted to be a doctor. That's why he makes the most of every day to study before breakfast, to work hard, to do whatever was necessary to achieve his goal. He found an answer in the military. If you have a passion, a vision for your future in any field, todaysmilitary.com can be your path to a fulfilling career. You have a calling, we have an answer. Find your way at todaysmilitary.com. BGSU Volleyball's Amanda Otten surpassed the 1,000 career assist marker against Toledo on Tuesday, November 5th. This year, she has added 781 assists to last season's 257. Otten added 63 assists to her resume in a single game after the October 10th matchup against Eastern Michigan. Otten is a sophomore setter originally from Batavia, Illinois. She is a three-time Max Setter of the Week award winner, having earned the title twice this season. During her freshman year, Otten tied for 11th in the nation with triple doubles. This has been 60 Seconds in Falcon Athletics. Every year, millions of Americans use opioids to manage pain. 
and reliance on opioids has led to the worst drug crisis in American history. That's why the CDC recommends safer alternatives like physical therapy to manage pain. Physical therapists treat pain through movement, hands-on care, and patient education. No warning labels required. When it comes to your health, you have a choice. Choose physical therapy. Visit MoveForwardPT.com to find a physical therapist in your area. Hi, I'm Lauren Hovey on the BGSU volleyball team, and these are my Falcon 4 off-day activities. My first one would be spend time with family and friends if they're in town because I love them. Uh, my second one would be read my book because it's relaxing. My third one would be go get coffee because who doesn't love coffee? And my fourth one would be go get groceries so I can make food for the week. Back here and ready for second half action between the Bowling Green Falcons and the Cleveland State Vikings here in the third game of the 2024-2025 women's basketball season. The Falcons 42, the Vikings 32. A 10 point lead for Hecker's freshman coming out of the locker room, looking at their first road win of the season and looking to move two and one. Cleveland State, this is their home opener, looking to move two and one as well. The defending regular season Horizon League champions found themselves down by 10. Definitely something that's, that can come back from. Shooting is something that is going to have to improve for Cleveland State. For the five on the court for Bowling Green, same five as they started. Cora, Ellis, Porter, Donahue, and Velasco. For Cleveland State, same five as well. We have Leo, Moreo, Maples, Reisma, Purdue. Same five. And here's Donahue. Out right left to Kohler. Porter gets a start of the first offensive possession for Bowling Green. That shot there can't fall. And rebounded there from Reisma. Here's Maples. Inside of Guerrero. Guerrero. Freeze one back to Reisma. Ellis there late. Can't want to fall. Reisma gets up the fall. Lead down to eight. 42 32. Bowling Green with 9.25 left to play here in the third. Here's Kohler. Pass down low to Porter. Find Erica Porter there, and that one off the foot of Erica Porter. Big Cleveland State ball. There you go, inbounds this one to Maples. Leo, outside of Purdue. Purdue, top of the key, guarded by a Porter. Purdue finds Guerrero. Guerrero has a man open in the far corner, can't find her. Puts up a shot that can't fall. Ball on the floor. Donahue gets the rebound, but then just gives it away. Carelessly finds it right to Leo. Leo drives. That shot can't fall. And Donahue comes away with the rebound once again. And Donahue, the full head team, out to Velasco, inside the Porter. Erica Porter in the paint. Erica Porter with the left can't finish it. Trying to get their own rebound, but hauled in from Guerrero. Here's Purdue to the left. Purdue drives inside, kicks out to the right corner, and a three pointer on the way from Guerrero. That one no good. Rebounded there from Erica Porter. That's one to Kohler. Bowling Green looking for their first points of the second half. Here's Velasco. Velasco, tough shot there, rejected by Maples. Maples a fast break to Purdue, guarded by Porter, and the foul going to be called on Erica Porter. And Purdue will go to the charity stripe. So a slow start for Cleveland State to begin this one. No points so far. 8.07 left to play here in the third. As Gherkin will check in for Erica Porter, who's picked up her third personal foul. In game time, Bowling Green scoreless in their last 3.20. As that free throw attempt for Purdue is off the mark. Two for 10 from the field, 0 for 4 from 3. Was perfect from the charity stripe until that miss. So still just six points for Michaela Purdue. And we'll connect on, this, on the second one. As Bowling Green will try to get the first points of the third. 
Cole to Donahue. Donahue inside of Gherkin. Gherkin works. Three second violation on Bowling Green. So another turnover. And Cleveland State will pick it up. Second three second violation of the game for the Orange and Brown. Here's Maples. Top of the key guard by Velasco. Good arrow. Works inside out to Maples. Works on Velasco. Maples drives inside with the left. Maples. That shot won't fall. And rebound from Ellis. That one just rolled out of the rim. And Velasco comes back the other way for Bowling Green. Velasco. Out wide left to Kohler. Kohler back to Velasco. Velasco to Donahue. Back to Velasco. Back to Kohler. Kohler thought about three inside to Ellis. Ellis back to Gherkin. Had that one poked away from Guerrero. And she's got a full headed seam on the fast break. Guerrero connects. The lead is cut down to five. 42 37. Bowling Green 7 15 left to play in the third. Timeout taken by Fred Chimio and the Falcons. Scoreless. Two minutes and 47 seconds into this one. Timeout on the floor from Bowling Green. This timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company. You can find the latest menu at juniperbrew.com. So timeout for Bowling Green trying to stop the bleeding and start some momentum of their own. We'll take it with them. 42-37 Bowling Green. The lead is cut down to just five. It was the BGC Women's Basketball on WBGU. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to be a caregiver to mom. I had no idea how hard it would be and what I would need to know. Things I never thought of, like how to improve her mood and ways for me to stay positive. Luckily, I found the Caregiving Resource Center from AARP. It had articles about the basics, but also information about the hurdles I was facing. Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Articles, tips, and tools to help you both care for your loved one and care for yourself. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Back here, ready for third quarter action here at Wolstein Center, the campus of Cleveland State University, where the Vikings have held the Falcons scoreless so far in this third quarter. A 5 0 run so far in just this third. 42 37, Boringen still leads by five. But Fetcher will force to burn a timeout on the court. Trying to get his group refocused. Morgan just haven't been able to find an open look so far in this third quarter. And we're getting ready to begin here out of this media timeout. Some key stats so far look for points in the paint. Have been mostly won from Cleveland State. 22 to 14, it's an eight point difference. They've won that battle. Second chance points though for Bowling Green, 16 to four. 12 more second chance points for the orange and brown. That's been a big break for Bowling Green. No points off the bench so far for Bowling Green, just two for Cleveland State. So the starters for both sides really getting it done on the offensive end. Gherkin, Donahue, Ellis, Kohler, and Velasco will be the five on the floor returning from this one. Cleveland State still hasn't broken from their timeout. Now they do. Other Bowling Green games going on right now. Our Bowling Green football team hosting the Western Michigan Broncos in a big Mid-American Conference matchup. Big matching matchup, I should say. At the Doit, 9-7 right now. Bowling Green midway through the second quarter. Just got word that defensive lineman Ben Booker was stretchered off. Our best wishes to him and make sure he's okay. We'll resume play here in Cleveland. 42-37, Bowling Green under seven minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Can Bowling Green get the first bucket of the half? Here's Kohler. Shot clock down to three. Kohler on the left wing, Donahue top of the key. Shot clock down the line, Donahue, tough shot! Jonah Donahue 
off the right hand, got that one to fall off the glass and in. 44-37, Bowling Green. Donahue now up to four points. Is that attempt for the the other way? Rice getting that one to fall. 44-39. Now Gherkin a mid-range shot off the front of the rim, no good. Ellis trying to fight on the rebound. Can't hold that one in. Cleveland State will take over. Five point lead for the Orange Brown. 6.21 left to play here in the third quarter. Up the court is Leo and the Vikings. Leo found herself up in space in the right corner. Leo drains it. Only the second three made of this contest. And Cleveland State have brought this lead down to just two. 44 42 Bulldogs under six minutes left to play. Velasco, Donahue, inside to Ellis. Ellis out wide left to Velasco. Velasco thought about three dribbles inside. Velasco, that's a tough shot. Takes the contact. King got on the fall, but it's fouled. Destiny Leo will be called on that foul. That's her first foul. And Velasco will go to the line. 20 points in that first half. Four from six from three. Seven for 11 from field goal range. Trying to make it 21. And try to give Orange a three-point lead. And she does. 45-42, Orange and Brown. Velasco trying to make it a perfect trip. Has that one ricochet in and out. And they'll have to retake uh, as a Viking. Got a little too excited there before that one was taken from Velasco. So Velasco will retake. Velasco, and she'll make it. So two for two there. 46-42, Bowling Green, 5.45 left to play. In this third quarter, Guerrero out to Leo. Leo works left. Leo guarded by Gherkin. Hands it off to the left wing. Here's Purdue. Purdue drives inside. It's a tough shot there. Can't fall. Rebounded from Ellis as Gherkin and Ellis both collide. There's Donahue. Donahue up the court. Donahue out to Gherkin. Gherkin thought about three. Velasco. Top of the key. Velasco signals the play. Puts up four. Ellis. Drives inside. Gets by Ellis. There a tough shot. Can't get that one to fall. Ellis still scores from the field. Here comes Cleveland State back the other way. And a wide open through the right wing for Leo. And she drains it. The lead is cut down to just one. 46-45. We've reached past the midway point here in this third quarter. Velasco. Gherkin. Gherkin to Velasco. Here's Kohler. Kohler will try a three off the mark. Nothing but air there. We'll go out of bounds for Cleveland State ball. But before we resume play, we've reached media timeout. 4.41 left to play in the third quarter. The Cleveland State Vikings have stormed back. And there's just a one point lead for the Orange and Brown. 46 45 Bowling Green. Cleveland State is knocking on the door. Media timeout, which means this timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company, 145 South Main Street in downtown Bowling Green, featuring coffee and craft beer, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. See the latest menu at juniperbrew.com. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. 46-45 Bowling Green here on WBGU 88.1 FM. I'm Danica Patrick. Watching my nieces grow, play, and learn is amazing, but not every child gets to be carefree. One in six kids in the U.S. are hungry. This breaks my heart, and it's something that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and gives it to families in need. To help, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Five 
Falcon Media Sports Network is finally back on the road with BGSU Hockey. Make sure to catch the voice of Falcon Hockey, Ben Korak, on the call for every BGSU game this season on WBGU 88.1 FM. Back here at the World Science Center here at Cleveland State University where the Vikings are storming back here with momentum. Down by one, the Falcons 46, Cleveland State 45. 441 left to play here in the third quarter. Welcome back inside the broadcast. I'm Luke Kleinmark. If you look at the summary in this third quarter, the Vikings have outshot only 13 to 4 in this third period. After the, the Falcons outshot the Vikings 25 to 10 in the first. But Cleveland State has gotten momentum and they've gotten going. As we got ourselves a ball game here. The remainder of this one. Right now, for Bowling Green, leading the way still is Amy Velasco, 22 points, 7 for 11, shooting 4 from 6 from the 3 point range. Meanwhile, for Cleveland State, Riesma, 15 points from 7 from 7 shooting. She's been a factor, especially inside the paint for Cleveland State. One of the biggest reasons why Cleveland State has cut the lead down to just one have been those two three-pointers made from Leo. She's two for four from three. She's 0 from two in the first half. But now, Bowling Green has some work to do here in the final 441 left here in the third quarter. Out of the media timeout. It'll be Cleveland State ball. After a turnover from Bowling Green for our timeout. As Maples will bring this one up for the Vikings. Maples, Guerrero. Guerrero hands this one off to Maples. Maples drives inside, works on Gherkin! And the foul, Maples has given Cleveland State the lead for the first time tonight and has a chance to make a three-point play from the charity strike. That's Gherkin's third personal foul of the game. As Maples can make a three-point play, but now 47-46 Cleveland State. Here comes Kohler. Kohler. All right to Donahue. Kohler. Velasco. Down low to Gherkin. Out to Kohler. To Donahue. Velasco. Inside to Ellis. Ellis to Donahue. Donahue works inside, Donahue drives, Donahue, tough contact, can't get them to fall. Ellis gets her own rebound, Taya Ellis shot can't fall, gets it back again, shot clock's gonna run out. She'll want a reset on the shot clock, officiating will talk it over after the first attempt. The Vikings are on a 17 to four run, extending into the second quarter. It's been a roller coaster this one. Started out in favor of Bowling Green shooting, Cleveland State couldn't find anything. And then goes the other way for the Vikings. The last play is under review. So the last play will be under review to see where the shot clock will be placed. It's been nearly a two minute scoreless drought for the orange and brown. So that's our officiating crew. We'll talk it over. We'll look at team stats so far. Cleveland State, 47 points from 16 from 39 shooting. That's 41% from the floor. Three from 12 from beyond the arc. And has hit 12 of their 16 free throws. Meanwhile, for Bowling Green, 46 points from 16 from 49 shooting. That's good for just 32%. 8 for 17 from 3, that's 47%, and have hit all 6 of their free throws as well at 100%. Our officiating crew will walk away from the monitor. It has a verdict on this one. So after review, 15 seconds, we're put back on the shot clock. 46-47, Bowling Green. 
Ellis out to Kohler. Kohler from three. That one off the front of the rim. And no good. So now Bowling Green will come up empty. Gonzalez Maples guarded by Velasco. A lot of contact. And Maples kind of just pushed Velasco off there. 49-46, Cleveland State. Kohler. Velasco to Donahue. Back to Velasco. Velasco hands his one off to Kohler. Kohler. Velasco. Erica Porter mid-range. Ooh, that was actually, excuse me, Taylor Ellis. Not Porter, but a tough shot there from Porter near the baseline. Gets that one the fall. That's her first make from the field this game. 49-48 Cleveland State. Big shot from Ellis. But now a three-pointer on the way from Leo. Leo make it three in a row. 52-48 Cleveland State. That's her third three made this half. She's been feeling it from beyond the arc. A four-point lead now for Cleveland State. And they've all come from that right wing of Cleveland State. Fern. Donahue, Velasco. Velasco, a lot of contact inside on Purdue. And if Purdue will, be caught, will earn the foul, and the foul will be caught on Velasco, this will be Velasco's second personal foul. Much to the dismay of Fred Shamil. There's Maples. He bounds to Leo. Purdue. Inside to Leo. Works inside. Leo, a lot of contact there. Got that one up and over. But shot can't fall. Rebound from Kohler. She'll go quick. Paige Kohler tries to paint out wide left to Fern. She has a lot of time for three. Fern, that one can't fall. Got to knock down those open looks if you're Bowling Green. Back to the way now for Cleveland State as Leo connects with Purdue. And Purdue gets that one to fall. 54-48. Cleveland State. It's up to a six point lead now for the Vikings. A 12 2 run for the Vikings after the Falcons had a 10 point lead beginning this third quarter. We're down to a minute 48 left in the third. Donahue inside to Ellis. Ellis works inside. Ellis drives to her left hand. Ellis in a tough finish off the left. Ellis gets that one to fall. 54 50 Cleveland State. Velasco. Be bigger, be bigger. Inside of Maple, she'll try three. That one was tipped, I believe, from Ellis off the front of the rim. A rebound from Kohler. Here comes Kohler back the other way. Kohler with a full head of steam. And Kohler will take the foul. A little too much contact from the sophomore guard. Her first personal foul. A lot of bodies kind of crashed underneath the paint there. The core, we call it on the foul. Here comes Maples up the court for Cleveland State. 108 left to play in the third quarter. 54 50 Cleveland State. Here's Godero working inside on Fern. Her hands were up there. Shot was put up, went over the rim. But a foul's call on Fern. Guerrero will shoot two. It'll be Fern's first personal foul as well. That's now the ninth Falcon that's picked up a personal foul. 15 total for a team. Guerrero off the front of the rim. Had that one roll around and fall. But got to go. 55 50 Cleveland State. It's Guerrero's second attempt, and gets that one to fall. Back up to a six-point lead for Cleveland State. One minute off the play in the third quarter. Velasco at the Fern. Here's Kohler. Bounce pass to Ellis. Here's Kohler. Right wing, Velasco. Velasco right wing into right corner, Kohler. Kohler drills inside, pitch Kohler. A tough finish with their left hook. Paige Kohler got to the go and the foul. A huge basket from Paige Kohler. Second foul, number 
That'll be Hernandez. I'll pick up her first personal foul for the Vikings. As Cole has a chance to make a three-point play and to get to 15 points. She right now has 14 and 5 for 12 shooting. And she's got the good fall. Lee cut down to just three. 56-53 Cleveland State down to 36 seconds left the play in the third quarter. Here's Maples up the court for Cleveland State. Maples taking her time. Guarded by Velasco. Here's Guerrero inside the paint. Kohler switched off. We're right now guarded by Velasco. Out to Maples, guarded by Kohler. Maples there, a lot of contact. Out of bounds. Ooh, boy. And she took a hard contact there. And she's grabbing her left knee. And she's down underneath the basket. And that was not a sight you want to see that knee buckled and Maples is down in some pain. As the athletic training staff will tend to Maples, we'll take a quick break here. 56-53 Cleveland State, you're listening to BGC Women's Basketball on WBGU. You pledged your life to serve. You made sacrifices, lost loved uh, ones. Just, At just VA, we don't see the falls you've taken. Wow. We see the thousand times you've stood back up. We embrace your uniqueness and won't trivialize your hardships. We can't promise to heal all wounds or wash away all trauma, but we do see a path forward. We see all veterans. We see you. Learn how no, treatment no. works and recovery is possible. Visit maketheconnection.net. On September 13th, BGSU men's soccer's Bennett Painter scored the game-winning goal against Northern Illinois, leading to the team getting nationally ranked. Falcon Media Sports Network's Lucas Kleimeyer had the call on the WBGU PBS YouTube channel. Gonna win that one initially. Okay. Head up again. Wins the second one, however. Back to Lane. Back to Painter. That one's blocked. Gets it back. Painter! Bennett Painter! Paints another masterclass at Cochrane Stadium. This has been a Falcon Media Sports Network featured call. Back here at the Wolstein Center as Maples is up to her feet and will be helped off with the training staff here at Cleveland State. Maples, Rising League Player of the Year last year and their regular season championship. And she'll be helped off the court here with 15 seconds at the play here in the third. Don't ever want to see anyone get hurt. No matter the team, no matter the jersey. And we hope Maples is okay. Back here, 10 seconds left here playing the third quarter. Here comes Bowling Green. Here's Donahue. Out to the right wing, out to Velasco. Velasco try a deep three to tie Andy Velasco. Off the mark, off the page, Kohler. Kohler out to Donahue. Now Kohler going to try a deep two off the buzzer, and that one won't fall. A tough shot from Kohler, but it can't go anyway. End of the third quarter here at the Wolstein Center. Here at Cleveland State University, 56-53. The Vikings, who are down by 10 at halftime, have stolen all the way back for a three-point lead. We'll see the Falcons can come from behind and steal this one here at the Wolstein Center. You're listening to BJC Women's Basketball on WBG 88.1 FM. Don't go anywhere. When someone hears the words, you have cancer, it's one of the darkest moments in their life. Light the Night brings light to the darkness of cancer by uniting survivors, patients, and supporters in the cause to end cancer. We form a community of hope, raising funds in support of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The discoveries made by LLS-supported research have led to breakthrough treatments for many cancers and other serious diseases. When we walk, cancer runs. Join the movement to end cancer today. Visit us at lightthenight.org. The average time a resume spends on an HR manager's desk is seven seconds, and most of them are tossed aside. 
Now imagine if one of those resumes belonged to Yasmin, who was living in a shelter, juggling three jobs. I had to be resilient. That's something that you can't teach. We rely so much on a resume, yet it could never tell the full story of someone who had to be independent and take initiative. And that's how I handle every project I get. Discover new ways to develop great talent at gradsoflife.org. Brought to you by Grads of Life and the Ad Council. Some of the best sounds you'll ever hear are generic, safe, effective, even money saving, just like FDA approved generic drugs. Even if they don't come in the exact same color or shape as their brand name equivalents, they have the same key ingredients and go through a rigorous review process. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist today and visit fda.gov slash generic drugs. Generics are safe, effective, and can save you money. You'll like the sound of that. My name is Jamal Johnson, number six, running back in the senior, and here are my Falcon Four favorite candies. First, we have Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, Reese's Pieces, and Hershey Kisses. And these are my favorite because when you're at Halloween and you dump out that bag, these are the best Halloween candies to pull out. So those are my favorites. Back here for the start of the fourth quarter in the Wolstein Center here in Cleveland, Ohio. As the Cleveland State Vikings and the Bowling Green Falcons here in this third game of the 2024-2025 women's basketball season. It was a 15-point lead at one point for Bowling Green and a 10-point lead going into halftime. Cleveland State have thrown all the way back with an amazing third quarter, a quarter where they outshot Bowling Green 24-11 to and have a three-point lead here for the start of the fourth quarter. Ten minutes of basketball to be played here to the side who will earn their second win of the season. Miss before the third quarter and we saw Kobe Maples helped off the court with an apparent knee injury. And with her night looking to be done. So the five on the court for Cleveland State is Hernandez, Leo Guerrero, Purdue, and Hurley. For the Falcons, it's Fern, Donahue, Ellis, Kohler. Excuse me, not Fern, Erica Porter has checked in as well. So Porter, Donahue, Velasco, Kohler, and Ellis. Underway here in the fourth quarter. Here comes Cleveland State for his offensive possession. Out to the left, that's Purdue there. Tough shot there. And Paige, Amy Velasco, rather, taking the charge. Keeping her feet down on the ground, taking the contact, and earning the call. So new possession for Cleveland State. Here's Velasco. Kohler. Top of the key. Kohler heavily guarded by Purdue. Out to the left wing. Velasco down to the baseline to Ellis. Ellis out to Kohler. Kohler thought about three. Baseline pass to Porter. Porter inside working on Reyes. Porter, their tough shot can't fall. Reyes wins that battle. In the post. Into Kohler. Kohler draws another foul. Goes working inside of Rizma. Kohler again descending her feet and taking the contact. That's the second straight into possession for Cleveland State to begin this fourth quarter. 9.05 up to play here in the fourth. Velasco, Donahue to the right wing. Ellis, Kohler. Velasco out to Donahue. Donahue to Kohler, back to Donahue, top of the key. A on the shot clock, Donahue. Donahue all the way out left to Kohler. Kohler on the shot clock there, takes the contact, try to put the foul and won't go, but a foul will be called on the Vikings. This will be on, this is gonna Sarah Hurley. Be her first personal foul. Velasco inbounds the Porter. And now here's Velasco. Ellis, Donahue. Over to Porter. Porter inside the paint working on a race. Travel called on Erica Porter. So sloppy basketball from both sides offensively. With 8.29 left to go in the fourth quarter. Still 56-53 Cleveland State. Fiola will bring this ball up the court for the Vikings. Oh, 
Velasco only two points this half. That should be defended there with Guerrero, and Guerrero gets that one to fall. Make it a five point lead now for Cleveland State. 58 53, Guerrero now up to 12 points. There's Donahue with Kohler. They're out to Donahue, Velasco, Velasco drives inside, Velasco low floater, and Velasco gets that one to fall on the right. Easy as you like for Velasco. Back down to a three-point lead for Cleveland State, 58-55. Donahue guards, Donahue wins back the ball, ball on the floor, and then Donahue gives it away to Guerrero. And it's stolen on top of the key to Leo. Leo to Donahue. Now here's Purdue, drives inside Purdue, floater. Came out of the fall, defensive rebound by Erica Porter. Here's Kohler. Back the other way for Bowling Green. Still just a three-point game. Kohler. Out to Donahue. Back to Kohler. Inside to Porter. Porter works inside on Reyes. Porter works inside. That one can't fall. Guerrero does really keep that one in play. There's Leo Purdue. We'll try a three. Purdue three off the mark. Rebounded there from Reyes. And she gets that one to fall. Back at the five. 60-55 Cleveland State. 6-42 up the play here in the fourth. Here's Velasco. Muscle off the ball there initially. Rebounded from Donahue. Here's Kohler. Go to Velasco. Velasco drives inside. Takes a lot of contact. It will be Cleveland State ball. Couldn't ride the challenge. And Cleveland State has a chance to make a three possession game. 6.23 left to play here in the fourth quarter. 60-55 Bowling Green. And offensive foul off the ball on Cleveland State as Velasco draws the foul. On Deirdre Reyes, Reismont. Here's Velasco, Kohler. Velasco to Kohler, and Kohler drains a three. There with the timeout, but. After she did so, a timeout was called by head coach Fred Shimmy on the Falcons. 60 to 55, Cleveland State, a five point lead for the Vikings. A quick timeout, but we'll take it with them. This timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company. You can find the latest menu at juniperbrew.com. Timeout on the floor, we'll take it with them. Bowling Green down by five with 6.02 left to go play here in the fourth quarter. Everyone knows texting while driving is a recipe for disaster, but other forms of distract driving like changing the radio station, putting on makeup, or talking with a passenger can be just as dangerous. This is Trooper Tony Shirley of the Ohio State High Patrol's Bowling Green Post. Every time someone takes their eyes or focus off the road, even for just a few seconds, they put their life and the lives of others in danger. Distracted driving is unsafe and the consequences can be devastating. Help us drive to save lives, never drive distracted. for a BGSU Athletics talk radio show? Tune into the Zig Zone every Sunday at 4 p.m. where a panel of Falcon Media Sports Network members discuss the hottest BG sports topics only on WBGU 88.1 FM. Full timeout on the court for Bowling Green and Fred Shamil. Raptor right called the timeout. Page four hit a three. 60-55, Cleveland State. Welcome back inside the broadcast for the third game of the 2024-2025 women's basketball season. I'm Luis Carmar. Thanks for so much for joining us all night long for this one. Four teams on the shot clock for Bowling Green when they resume play here. 6.02 remaining in the fourth. On the floor is Porter, Donahue, Ellis, Kohler, and Velasco. But now... 
corner will check out for Moxie. Moxie will check out. The Falcons had a great scoring in the first half, but now in the second, they've been outshot 28 to 13 in total in this one. It was 25 10 Bowling Green at the end of the first, the two point lead. We go into halftime, it was a 10 point lead. A monster second quarter for the Vikings when they outscored Bowling Green 24 to 11 has given them the lead. Still only down by five, Bowling Green 60 to 55. But they need to come back sooner rather than later. 6.05 remaining here in this one. It will be cold at inbound this one. Bowling Green is a team. 8 for 21 for 3 point. 4 from Velasco and 4 from Kohler each. Back on the way here. Here's Velasco. Velasco, long switch, starting to find Ellis from the alley-oop. Ellis can't get on the fall. The second bite can't get on the fall. Moxie trying to get the rebound, can't grab it. Rebound, Cleveland State, come back the other way. Here's Purdue. Purdue. Leo. Back to Purdue. Here's Guerrero. Guerrero drives inside on the right. Guerrero and finishes there with the right. It's now three-point possession play. 62-55, Cleveland State. There's Kohler. To Donahue. Okay, back to Kohler, Donahue. Back to Velasco. Here's Velasco, Kohler. Ellis in mid-range, shot, and Taya Ellis gets that one to go for the mid-range. Cuts it down to five. 62-57. Leo will bring this ball back up for the Vikings. Guarded by Donahue. Leo works inside to Guerrero. Guerrero finds inside. Trying to find Rezma. A little too much there. Rebound from Ellis. Here comes Velasco. Velasco to Paige Kohler. Here's Kohler to Velasco. Inside to Ellis. Ellis works inside. Ellis outside to Donahue. Donahue works inside and it's given away. Picked off. Farizma. 421 left to play in this one. 62-57 Cleveland State. Here come the Vikings on the right wing. Leo guarded by Velasco. He's out to Rizma, guarded by Moxie. Screen set. Gives it back to Leo. Guarded by Rizma. A long switch in the left corner. And a wide open three is Purdue. Off the mark there. Taken away from Velasco. Here comes Velasco, goes to right, Velasco. Tough shot there, Velasco with the little floater. She's up to 26 points in this one. She's in contention for a BG Falcon Community Food and Drink Guide player of the game once again. 62-59, Cleveland State 3.38 left to play here in this one. A wide up in three in the left corner again for Cleveland State, that one off the mark. Good arrow on that time on that attempt, no good. Can Bowling Green capitalize, Kohler. Here's Donahue, Velasco. Ellis, a mid-range shot there. Ellis, that one no good. Moxie can't hold in the rebound. Floater there, Moxie. Last touch off offer. Cleveland State will take over. Moxie will check out. Christina Kulachkovska will check back into this one for Bowling Green. Cleveland State will take over 23 seconds left on the shot clock. Inbound underneath the basket. Leo trying to give this one to Raisha. And it will be Bowling Green ball. Still down by three with 3.13 left to play.
There's Donahue. Kohler back the other way for Bowling Green. Kulachkovska dribbles inside the paint. Kulachkovska dribbles inside, guarded by two. Cleveland State gets it out to Kohler. And three second violation will be called for Bowling Green. There's too much indecisiveness there underneath the paint. And Cleveland State will come away again. That's another chance for Bowling Green to cut the lead down, and they haven't done so. 2.40 left to play here in this one. Here's Guerrero. And he just went on top of the key to Purdue. Purdue guarded by Donahue. Purdue works his side to the right key. Out to Guerrero. Guarded by Velasco. Guerrero works to the left. Guarded by Velasco. A tough shot there. Velasco had her hands up there, but a foul called on Velasco. So Guerrero will go to the line. That is Velasco's third personal foul of the game. Guerrero's first attempt is money. Makes it a four-point lead with 2.23 left to play. Guerrero once more. And she got that one to fall again. Timeout will be called on the floor. Timeout, Cleveland State, Cleveland State will take this timeout. timeout. Be a full timeout. 64-59 Cleveland State. This timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company. 145 South Main Street in downtown Bowling Green featuring coffee, craft beer, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. See the latest menu at JuniperBrew.com. We'll take this timeout with them. We're entering crunch time. 2.22 left to play here. A five-point lead for the Vikings. You're listening to BGC Women's Basketball on WBGU 88.1 FM. Crooked teeth may embarrass kids whose families can't afford braces. And trying to fix their teeth themselves can make things worse. Luckily, there's donated orthodontic services a program from the American Association of Orthodontists. For children and teens who qualify and are matched with a volunteer orthodontist, treatment can be life-changing and help them smile with confidence. Learn more at aaoinfo.org. Sweet strawberry icing. You're in goodwill and just past that vintage denim jacket you spot. Miniature donut earrings. You lean in. Ah. Oh. That's the scent of shopping success. Because at Goodwill, every item you buy funds local job training and more. So bring home those donut earrings and bring home so much good to your community. Goodwill, bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Back here, 2.15 with the play here in the fourth quarter. Uh, turnover from Donahue as we're back in action already in this one. Leo picks this one off for Cleveland State. They'll come back to the other way, trying to build off their five-point lead, make a three-possession game. A lot of patience there from Guerrero, drove to the rim. Couldn't get the basket to go, but a foul will be called. It's foul be on on Kulachkowska. Guerrero. Six from since from the free throw line this game. Make it seven for seven. For her second attempt is off the front rim. First time she's missed tonight. Here's Kohler. Back their way for the Falcons. Under two minutes up the play here. Donahue. The Kohler. Velasco. Kulaj Koska back to Kohler. Kohler tries a three. Page Kohler off the mark. Rebounded and hold him by Guerrero. Guerrero, a full head of scene the other way. Out to the right corner. Hurley. Here's Leo. Foul about three card by Kulaj Koska. Minute 26 left to play. Guerrero. Guerrero. And a wide open Purdue for three. Purdue drains it. And that might have done it. 
68-59, nine point lead. A minute 15 left to play in this one. Velasco to the baseline, Velasco. Drives down, Velasco out to Kohler. Kohler, timeout taken by Fred Chenille on the Falcons. With a minute 05 left to play here. 68-59, Cleveland State. And it'll be a full timeout, so we'll take it with them. This timeout is sponsored by Juniper Brewing Company. You can find the latest menu at juniperbrew.com. We'll be back here to finish up the final minute of this one. The Falcons down by nine here in the Wollston Center. You're listening to BJC Women's Basketball on WBGU. What is dedication? The thing that drives me every day as a dad is Dariana. We call him Day Day for short. Every day he's hungry for something, whether it's attention, affection, knowledge. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that when he's no longer under my wing, that he's a good person. I want him to be able to sit back one day and go, we worked together, we did a good job. That's dedication. Find out more at fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Don't have time to tune into a BGSU sports broadcast? Falcon Media Sports Network will have you covered with live updates of home BGSU athletic events. To follow along, head over to at BG underscore FMSN on Twitter X. Back here with a minute left to go here as we're underway. Velasco drives inside for Bowling Green, gets that one to fall. Off the front of the rim, down by seven, under a minute left to play. We'll see if the Falcons elect to foul. Guerrero. Hands this one off. And Kohler will foul Leo, who's one of the three Vikings with double digit points. Guerrero, Reisma, and Leo. 17, 17, and 11 points, respectfully. Purdue, the fourth as well, with double digit points with 12. Curly will inbound this one, 50 seconds left in this one, 20 on the shot clock, 68-61, Cleveland State. Kulash Kovska now will foul Leo. That'll be her second personal foul as well. Kulash Kovska again on this inbound pass will foul Leo for the... The third time Leo has been fouled. And Leo will now go to the free throw line for Cleveland State. Two for two there, 69-61 Cleveland State there as Bowling Green comes back the other way. And a three-point attempt for the Falcon from Jasmine Fern is good, 69-64 Bowling Green down by five with 35.9 left to play. Early foul from the Falcons. Bowling Green foul number one, Velasco. Velasco. Her fourth personal foul, one away from fouling out. She fouled Purdue there. These are big free throws for the Vikings. Purdue's first one is good. Make it now 70-64 Cleveland State. Second attempt is good. Lead back up to seven, back up to three possession lead. Timeout, Bowling Green with 34 seconds left to play. Yeah, just a 30 second timeout. Well, if this result holds, Bowling Green will go to one and two after winning their first game of the season in Southern Mississippi. They'll drop two in a row to both Horizon League teams, Detroit Mercy and Cleveland State. Two good Horizon League opponents, and it's not going to get any easier. You have St. Bonaventure coming up back at the Stroh Center on Saturday at noon. 
Then you go on the road to West Virginia, nationally ranked West Virginia. Then you go on the road to nationally ranked Ohio State. And the same Ohio State Buckeyes team that handed this Cleveland State team a 104 to 69 loss. So tough out of conference schedule for Bowling Green. Still a lot to be done with, but a lot of room for growth to be done in the young season for this team. Pull in on this one for the Falcons. Inbound to Christina Kulets Koska. A mid range shot there, and she'll get that one to fall. Kulets Koska. The first points of the, of the day 71 66. Down by five is Kohler now. Will foul Purdue. Paige Kohler. Or her third personal foul. Michaela Purdue will go to the line. First attempt for Purdue is good. They get 72 66 now, Cleveland State. Second attempt is good as well. Lead back up to seven. Down in the 30 seconds, Velasco. Velasco, tough shot there, no good. Rebound by Fern. Fern shot no good as well. Ellis there on the put back, that shot no good. And a rebound from Guerrero. A lot of contact and a foul once again on Bowling Green. Down to 18 seconds and a seven point lead for Cleveland State. Taya Ellis will be called for that foul. For the Vikings, they'll go two and one on the year. Joining us for our post game show will assistant coach Maggie Lucas joining us along with our BG Falcon Food and Drink player of the game, Amy Velasco who has won our player of the game for the second time this season. First attempt from Leo is, excuse me, Guerrero is good. And she makes it two for two there from the line. 75-66 Bowling Green, Velasco. Velasco tried to give it to Kohler, and that one was deflected out from Guerrero. Kohler to Velasco, back to Kohler. Down right, Kohler drives inside. Paige Kohler shot no good there. Takes a lot of contact and has that one rejected out from Rezma with eight seconds left to play. Here's Kohler inbound to Ellis. Ellis works inside. Ellis there. Can I win the fall? Shot cut down the three. Velasco can I win the fall either. This will be blown and a foul will be called by Sarah Hurley. Sarah Hurley, excuse me. Ellis, who was a victim of that foul, will go to the free throw line and hits her first one. Gets that one to fall. 75-67 now. Make it 75-68 as this ball will be inbound. And the Cleveland State Vikings will come away victorious. 75-68. A seven-point win for the Vikings and a second straight loss for the Falcons. At one point, had a 15-point lead. But the Orange and Brown come away with another L on the road. That'll do it for us here momentarily. When we come back, we'll have assistant coach Maggie Lucas to join us to give us her thoughts on the game, but also our BG Falcon Media Food and Drink Guide player of the game, Amy Velasco. Final score here from the Wolstein Center, Cleveland State 75, Bowling Green 68. You're listening to BHC Women's Basketball on WBGU 88.1 FM. Sometimes I just cannot believe all the storms we've gone through here. I can only hope that we'll be able to leave this house to you one day, baby. You're our legacy. Planning for these disasters will make sure we're safe. And it's the best way to protect that legacy. Protect your legacy. Visit ready.gov forward slash plan for the tools and tips you need to start your emergency preparedness plan today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. 
Hey, I'm Cam North, and you're listening to 88.1 FM WBGU Bowling Green, home of the Falcon Media Sports Network. Dad, guess what? What? You are going to be a grandfather. That's great. Not too long ago, moments like this with my daughter would have been a challenge. It was a long road for me to find myself again after Vietnam. It was my neighbor Jim, another Vietnam veteran, who finally convinced me that I could still connect with my family and find that fulfilling life I'd lost. And I went for help down at the VA. If I can take that first step after almost 50 years, I know other veterans can too. Visit maketheconnection.net to find out more. BGSC Women's Soccer concluded their season on Sunday after a loss in the MAC quarterfinal that sent the Falcons home before the MAC semifinal for the first time since 2016. First year head coach Chris Fox led the squad to a 7 7 and 4 record, losing six of their seven games on the road while going 4 4 and 3 in conference play. The Falcons ended their season with a loss on the road to Ohio in the MAC quarterfinal in Athens, marking the first road appearance in the MAC tournament for the team since 2004. Graduate student midfielder Lexi Zerwin led the team with 11 points on the year, followed closely by sophomore forward Emma Stransky, who ended the season with a career high in 10 points. This has been 60 Seconds in Falcon Athletics. The moment my son saw a redwood tree. It's huge! Is the moment I knew that for him. You can't even see the top of that thing! Even the sky has no limit. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Learn about forests near you and discover cool things to do when you go. Your moment is out there. Find it at discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Walking into the building for the first time after the shooting, it was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Poma, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. Hi, this is Emmy Butera with the women's soccer team, and I'm doing my favorite four candies. So my first one is Jolly Ranchers. My second one is Sour Patch Watermelon. My third one, uh, probably Gummy Bears. And my fourth one, I'll go with Mentos. Hi, I'm Lauren Hovey on the BGSU Volleyball team, and these are my Falcon 4 off-day activities. My first one would be spend time with family and friends if they're in town because I love them. Uh, my second one would be read my book because it's relaxing. My third one would be go get coffee because who doesn't love coffee? And my fourth one would be go get groceries so I can make food for the week. You have the right to know. The right to know about culture. The right to know about the economy. The right to know about technology and to know about sports. You have the right to know about education and politics and the weather. You have the right to know what's happening abroad and in your backyard. But above all else, you have the right to know that this right is under attack and we must work to protect it. Because in order to be free, we must be informed. Understand the threats. ProtectPressFreedom.org Every year, millions of Americans use opioids to manage pain. And reliance on opioids has led to the worst drug crisis in American history. That's why the CDC recommends safer alternatives like physical therapy to manage pain. Physical therapists treat pain through movement, hands-on care, and patient education. No warning labels required. When it comes to your health, you have a choice. Choose physical therapy. Visit moveforwardpt.com to find a physical therapist in your area.
BJSU Volleyball's Amanda Otten surpassed the 1,000 career assist marker against Toledo on Tuesday, November 5th. This year, she has added 781 assists to last season's 257. Otten added 63 assists to her resume in a single game after the October 10th matchup against Eastern Michigan. Otten is a sophomore setter originally from Batavia, Illinois. She is a three-time Max Setter of the Week award winner, having earned the title twice this season. During her freshman year, Otten tied for 11th in the nation with triple doubles. This has been 60 Seconds in Falcon Athletics. If you love them enough to listen to them practice the same song on tuba. Please be done. Over and over and over and over and over. Then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Sounds good, honey. Check today at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Act Council. Tom has been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. I was really starting to worry. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives, but he was there beside me. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. A few years ago, Steve Faircow's lungs were failing. I don't think I had more than a couple weeks to live. That's when Steve received a lung transplant made possible by an organ donor. Now Steve can do things he never imagined, like climbing 94 floors to the top of a skyscraper. I never knew that breathing could feel this good. It's an incredible gift. What could you make possible as an organ, eye, and tissue donor? Leave behind the gift of life. Go to organdonor.gov, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Health Resources and Services Administration. I'm a wife, a sister, and a grandfather. I'm an office clerk. I'm a research analyst, dance fitness instructor, actor. I'm a copywriter. I'm a veteran. I have lupus, cerebral palsy. I'm blind. And I'm working in a job I love. I love. Because I was given a chance to contribute my skills and talents. To show that my disability is only one part of who I am. Who I am. Who I am. At work, it's what people can do that matters. For more information, visit whatcanyoudocampaign.org. Looking for a BGSU Athletics talk radio show? Tune into the Zig Zone every Sunday at 4 p.m. where a panel of Falcon Media Sports Network members discuss the hottest BG sports topics only on WBGU 88.1 FM. Hey, so what's a great way to spread awareness that driving high is illegal everywhere? A catchy song, of course. You can run, but you can't drive high. Friendly reminder, don't drive high. If you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Back here with our post-game show, the Bowling Green Falcons fall 75 to 68 to the Cleveland State Vikings. I'm joined alongside assistant coach Maggie Lucas. Coach, thank you so much for taking your time to join me after a yeah, tough absolutely. loss. absolutely. Um, Sorry if my voice is a little bit gone, oh, but uh, yeah. Okay, just overall, coach, just th starting off your overall thoughts on the game. I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of positives to be taken away from it. Um, you know, we got off to a great start. Um, you know, Amy and Paige were, were hot, hot, you know, shooting right off the bat. Nay brought unbelievable defensive energy. And, you know, as a team, I thought we brought really great defensive energy from the start. And, you know, you look at that start, it was great. But, um, you know, as the lead dwindled, I thought we, you know, lost, lost a little focus. And, you know, we got to get – we got to finish our bunnies. Yeah. The easy ones. Yeah. You mentioned the three point shooting success, especially in the first half, especially mm -hmm. uh, Paige and Amy. Um, Taya Ellis also finished the double double as well. Is there any other positives in the game you like, you take away? Yeah. I mean, I, I thought we got some, you know, people coming off the bench and, you know, 
they're getting experience, um, experience that they haven't had before, um, which will go a long way as the season goes on. You know, we got a lot of new pieces, and mm -hmm. you know, we're we're you know, we got we got some good things happening. We got some things we got to correct, but you know, we don't want to be playing our best basketball this time of year. Right, it's November. Right. You know, we're taking some lumps. We obviously would not like to, but uh, you know, we're going to grow and we're going to get better. Yeah. You mentioned the ability to hold leads at one point. You guys had a 15-point lead. I know heading into halftime, it was a 10-point lead. Kind of what did you see kind of was the deciding factor where the momentum kind of switched into the Cleveland State's favor? Yeah, I mean, they, they obviously adjusted to our three-point shooting, um, and they, they brought the back of that 2-3 that zone out further. Um, so it made, us, made it harder for us to move the ball around the perimeter, and then we weren't finishing in the paint. So, you know, offensively, that's what hurt us. And then on the... Uh, defensive end they do a very good job of finding you know one-on-one -on -one matchups and, and getting to that whether it was in the high post with Guerrero or um, you know pitchback actions with uh, Destiny Leo and uh, yeah yeah coaches lastly Saturday obviously I've seen Bonaventure kind of how do you get the team right going into Saturday what are you looking forward to and how are you going to bounce back yeah. uh, you know we're excited to be home in front of our in front of our home fans and they always give us such a big boost so you know it'd be great to be back back in the stro uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna take it and we're gonna get better like I said and um, you know we're just we're excited to get back home and you know get another chance to play yeah. this game yeah well coach thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me absolutely we'll be back with our bg falcon media food and drink on player of the game amy velasco don't go anywhere listen to bgc women's basketball post game show on wbgu neil armstrong waited six hours and 39 minutes to step onto the surface of the moon jackie robinson waited 20 months to play his first game with the brooklyn dodgers and even DiCaprio had to wait 22 years to win an Oscar. You can wait until your destination. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Don't have time to tune into a BGSU sports broadcast? Falcon Media Sports Network will have you covered with live updates of home BGSU athletic events. To follow along, head over to at BG underscore FMSN on Twitter X. Back here with our post-game show, the BG Falcon Media Food and Drink Guide provides the latest food and drink specials from local restaurants. You can find it on our homepage, bgfalconmedia.com, or simply go to our top navigation, mouse over life, and click on food and drink. We're joined by now our two-time BG Falcon Media Food Drink and Guide player of the game, Amy Velasco. Amy, thanks for taking the time to join us. Tough loss um, for you personally. Good performance, 28 points. 4-4 four four from the free throw line, hit four big threes as well, played the entire game. Just overall, your thoughts on the match. Yeah, uh, today was a tough one. Um, I thought we played hard. I thought I thought we played great in those first two quarters, at least first quarter and into the into the second quarter. But um, we just got to keep pushing, keep keep playing hard, and and don't let our foot off the gas. You know, Coach Lucas mentioned you don't want to be playing your best your best basketball this time of year. You want to be playing your best basketball towards the end of February and March when you go into the MAC tournament time and tournament time. Um, obviously, tonight you guys had a lot of success shooting the three-point three, three point shot, especially in the first half, you alongside with Paige. Um, Taya also had a double-double as well. What other positives did you kind of see from the team tonight? Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is a great team. Um, and I think, yeah, like you said, we shot the lights out tonight, um, especially that that first half. And I think um, there's a lot of girls who can sub in and just, just shoot the ball. And uh, Taya brings great energy. She, Like you said, she had a double-double. And... Um, she gets a lot of boards for us, and that, those are hustle plays. Those are those are choices. So um, I'm proud. Of, I'm proud of Taya, and and I think we're going to get a lot better. And like Coach Maggie said, you know, we want to play our best best basketball um, come conference play. So this is just just getting us better. And obviously, the first half was a lot better in your guys' favor. Had a 15 point lead at one point. I know heading into halftime, you guys had a double digit lead. Kind of for you, what was kind of you feel like the change in momentum in favor of Cleveland State towards the second half, where they kind of just started pulling away. Yeah, Cleveland State's a great team. Um, we we knew coming out of halftime that they're not going to give up. They're not going to lay down. They're going to come out uh, guns a blazing. So um, we just had to put our foot on the gas and not not let them uh, creep in. And when they 
when they went on their runs, we, we need to be able to go on our runs too and uh, get some stops down the stretch. So. And lastly, Amy, how do you guys improve against St. Bonaventure and kind of like what's the mentality heading going back to the Stroh Center? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're excited to play at the Stroh again, and I think just going into it, we need to get better in these uh, couple practices we have before Saturday and just um, continue to work hard and, and uh, play hard and we'll be fine. Amy, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. We'll be back and wrap it all up. Actually, we'll stay right here. Get that off. We'll wrap it up here. Got a bus to catch with the team heading off to this one. So before I send it all off, I want to give a big thank you to Nate Henners and Caden Knapp, who are back in the studio in the Colleen Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University for pushing the buttons and keeping me on the broadcast, but also helping out with a halftime report as well. And for our entire Falcon Media Sports Network crew, thank you so much for joining for helping us all night long, and thanks you for everyone for tuning in. Final score here from the Wolstein Center, Bowling Green 68, Cleveland State 75. The Falcons fall by seven to the defending Horizon League regular season champions. Have a good night, everyone. This broadcast has been a Falcon Media Sports Network production. For more BGSU sports news and updates, follow Falcon Media Sports Network on Twitter X at BG underscore FMSN, BG Falcon Media on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and head over to BGFalconMedia.com. <laughs>